G'day, welcome back. In this second part of the tiny house build tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to add in some walls and some windows into your house. Now keep in mind, this is just a basic house for you to start with, but you can totally change the house design. Maybe you're trying to model your own house. Maybe you're trying to use a floor plan you've seen online, or maybe you've got a brand new idea as well. But in this case, I'm gonna start by adding some walls. And again, we're just gonna estimate some of the dimensions as well. So click on a face. I might say that this is an entryway. Click on a face, click sketch. And I'll go normal to that so I can see it from this angle. Actually create a rectangle. I'm going to make mine roughly 20 wide and say 40 high. And maybe if I decide I want that a bit higher, I might say 50 and I can always edit that later. To cut it out, click on the extrude button, click remove and it'll cut in. Now for my last video, I actually made the floor a certain height. So I'll change this to five mil. So it still cuts through, but so that I don't have this little step here, I'm going to go back into my sketch and I'm going to make sure the bottom line is three millimeters up there. I might have to delete some of these references so that it can fall. And I might actually change this to minus three as well. Oh, wrong way. So three, why don't we change this? Bring it up that way. I left this in the video because you'll notice sometimes things don't go to plan, but you can delete those little fixed points. And by what, what I mean by that is if I add a point to there, so I grip it onto the wall, all of a sudden these little points get created. And that just means you can't move it uh, off that line. But if I delete these, I can move that off the line. So if you ever feel like you're getting stuck with these little red icons, just means your design is overdefined and you can just delete them so that you can manipulate the shape again. Now, here I've got three millimeters off the bottom, which is probably the depth of my floor. I've got my 20 and let me just add in the height of the door, let's say 50. And if I press the green button, it should still extrude it, which is really nice. You can always go back into your sketch to extrude that shape. I'm going to add in another door here. I'll do it nice and quickly this time. This time I don't have to worry about that three, three mil. It's already marked above there. Oh, actually I said three and I wrote three, but if I make that 20 and then I can make this height 50. I'm going to draw all of my doors. You have to do a new sketch for different planes as well. So bear with me, Click sketch rectangle. Let's go 20 and go 40. And what if I wanted an arch here? Actually, what if I wanted a wider door, let's say 30. And what if I wanted it to be equidistant from each side? So I'll go see how far this is. Let's go 10 or at least let's estimate it for now. Currently 18. So if I go 15, that's overdefined. But if I delete this, it'll bring it closer. If I did some math, I could probably work out exactly how to make it in the center. I could also use a center line tool, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. I want an arc here though. I'm gonna add the arc and join these two points. And just to make it a bit of an interesting door, I'm gonna trim this section, that line there. All of a sudden, if I want to, I can select this face, click extrude and remove. Do the same, remove. And it's just good practice if you're unfamiliar with on shapes, just go through this process. I'll add one more door here, click sketch, rectangle, shape, 20 by 40. Or did I want it to be 50? And I'll extrude, remove, and we're good. All right. Very quickly, you can see how we can add some doors. Windows are no different as well. Stay with the next video and I'll show you how to make some furniture.